Foss Maritime Dolphin tugs are built for power. And that means generating over 174,000 pounds of force to pull ships over 1,000 times their size. A tugboat gets its strength not only from its engines and generators, but also two ASD, or azimuth stern drive propulsion drives. Each drive is basically a propeller and a nozzle, which has the ability to rotate 360 degrees. They're referred to as tractor tugs because they can maneuver the thrusts from the propellers in any direction. That means the operator can make the tug go any direction he wants, sideways, crossways, even in circles. That's extremely important when moving through the narrow channels of the port of Long Beach. The ship that we're going to be doing here is a, a smaller container ship. On the bow, Morgan. One on the bow, Roger. We'll pull his bow off the, uh, the dock and uh, he'll get underway. While Foss supplies tugs of all sizes to ports around the world, the port of Long Beach is one of the only ports where you'll find one of their newest, strongest, and greenest tugboats. The Carolyn Dorothy is the first and only hybrid system that's functioning in the tugboat world. Most of our day is spent running at about 10, 15% as we move throughout the harbor, which is 80% of the time. Only 20% of the time we're working with ships that we need all our horsepower. The hybrid and its traditional sister dolphin tugs can all produce up to 5,080 horsepower. That's equivalent to the power of about 50 average four-door sedans. While they look a lot alike on the outside, the inside is another story. The hybrid tug has two main diesel engines that are 1,800 horsepower each, as well as two 440 horsepower generators and 10 tons of batteries. We can run totally green on batteries only. Or we can just add one generator. We can make about six and a half knots of speed doing that, and we can keep building it up by adding another engine. The tug continues to operate at that level until it reaches 90%. At that point, if we need more power, we can draw on the charged batteries so we can get to 100%. We originally estimated about a 44% emission reduction and 20 to 30% fuel reduction. From the way that we've seen it work, we are pretty confident that it's going to be quite a bit higher. It works much better than we had originally calculated. Tugboats are all about big power in a little vessel.